What's going on you Turkish house cats? Today bringing you guys another video, a class setups video actually. It's been a while since I've done this. I think it's actually we got a bicycle rider outside of our house. He looks like he's Oh shit, he's got that them tie-dye shorts on, boy. But anyways, class setup video. It's been a while. Haven't actually done one since the start of AW, so let's get this shit going right now. All right. Uh so thing is this is going to be kind of short because the pros now they play with like the simplest rules um the simplest weapons simplest uh guns i guess you could say so basically i have five classes of an asm1 and then five classes of a bow uh search it's basically the same thing but yeah let's get this started so use this class a lot probably the most uh for respawn actually that's not true i don't know We'll see. It depends on the team usually. But yeah, ASM1, uh, three attachments obviously, lightweight, fast hands, you know, this, all this good shit. And so basically it's a pretty standard class that everyone uses in hard points. Um, but yeah, so then this one is the same thing, but Semtexas. I, I use this a lot in like Biolab, um, Biolab CTF, Biolab uh, hard point. Also, I'll use this in what other maps? Sometimes Detroit, not really Detroit though. But yeah, mainly just use this on like Biolab CTF, Biolab Hardpoint. Um, this class I use if they are throwing like a good amount of stuns, and like I'm since I'm in the hill a lot, so I'd use this on like maps like Detroit and uh, Biolab Hardpoint. So, because those are the, the two maps I sub on. In hard point and the other the retreat and solar i'm always using a battle so in, in hard point at least this is if they're using so many fucking stuns that i can't see my screen uh if my screen's white the entire time i pull out this class and uh detroit hard point if they're using like so many stuns i can't see my screen i'll use this class so this is like my detroit specific class like i'll only use this on detroit hard point and that's about it uh but yeah let's get to the balance my favorite gun in this game. I, I like the SM1, but I definitely like the Bow more. It's kind of fucking really cheap at this point in the game. So yeah, it's the same exact setup with the double stun, double nade, flak, flak plus hardwired, and then hardwired plus double stun. So that's like the same exact thing. And uh, I'll show you guys uh, my... Well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I use. So I use this, this class on the uplinks usually. I use this class on a couple hills, um, depending on the map. So like solar, I'll use this on the top hill all the time. And uh, I don't know, I guess sometimes on Biolab Uplink. This is just if I want to be like sneaky, they're not throwing that many stuns, so I'll use this. I'll use this a lot on retreat, actually. And then double nade, I'll, I'll be using this a lot as well. Actually, no, that's not true. I never, I never really even use this class. I don't even know why I have it, to be honest with you. And then double stun. I use that on solar and retreat, hard point a lot. But yeah, so let's go. I'll do the S and D classes really quick. So basically, these are the slight changes I use. So on land, you can't really sound whore at all. So I keep overclock. Switch these to nades. Copy paste this. Boom. Boom. And I'll change overclock to trophy. So basically I have this. Same exact thing. Um, honestly, if you like... So basically S&D now on land versus pro teams has come down to a lot of nades. So sometimes I might even do this. Like trophy and flag. So that way if I do get stunned, you know, I'll take them out. If, if they nade me and I'm weak, like I'm not that weak. So... Um, for maps like when we're fucking, it's like Detroit or something like that, I'll be using this to plant the bomb so there's no possible way they could name me, so. Or I'll do this. Uh, overclock, trophy, that's kind of like a rush class, so. But yeah, those are the ASM1 things, and I'm going to do the same exact thing for my bow, bow classes. Oh, same thing, just overclock, double nade, 
Overclock, double stun, overclock, or trophy, double stun, trophy, double nade. And either the flak, depending on the map, or overclock. I'll switch them up though, I wouldn't, I'd do them like that, because that's how I'm used to it. But yeah, those are basically my classes for all the game types, guys. That's a really fucking short video, but really, there's not much else I use, to be honest. Um, this game at this point, just play smart, be in the right spot, shoot the guy in front of you. That's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. Sorry, it's not really much uh, in-depth in strategy. Don't really want to give too much away, but uh, those are my class setups. You won't see me at a tournament using anything other than this stuff. Even if we play like overkill stuff, I I don't really snipe anymore. Like I'm a good sniper, but I'm really inconsistent with it. I'll either hit every single shot or I'll miss every single shot. So uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we provided some insight or I provided some insight. My character does look like a dweeb. He is made like that on purpose. You get scared when you see him and then you lose the gunfight people anyways. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the double uploads lately. Uh, all the clips, all the, you know, COD stuff. Not really much of it. Uh, CSGO stuff. I'll get more COD stuff out there for you guys. 5K, I actually was playing extremely well. And then the 5K finals, we played on a West Coast host every single time versus like three of them were West Coast. So I was kind of getting, I wasn't really getting fucked on, but... I was playing all right, so, you know, kind of ruined my, my highlight video thing. Oh, and uh, another thing that's coming out soon, or at least in the talks, is hashtag Crim6300K. So, uh, if you guys have any ideas about that, what you want to see in it, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I, I'm struggling speaking right now, so I'm going to just end the video.